All reactions are on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, episode 12 of season 5, Amending Fences, and press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero. I wonder if it's gonna be kind of a Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn spoof, perhaps, with the whole painting fences thing. Probably not. Probably gonna be... <laughs> cool. When you didn't have any friends just a short while ago. It's all Ponyville friends. <laughs> oh no! You literally don't remember them at all? If, you, if you'd call them friends, like, I, there wasn't even one that stood out? Aww. I'd love if we got to see her parents in this episode, but I don't think we've seen them since the, uh, flashback with Spike's egg, right? Really, I'd be curious to get more of each of the ponies, uh, parents. I'm pretty sure Granny Smith is Applejack's grandmother, not... not mother. We've seen Rarity's parents once that I can recall. Pinkie Pie's only in the flashback. Definitely not Rainbow Dash. Fluttershy, I don't believe so either. Huh. Did a lot of study in here, huh? Dude, this would be the episode for something lore important to happen, wouldn't it? And you excelled as you always do. Then let's clean it. It seemed to be implied at the start of the show that your friendships really weren't all that close, even by your own estimation. I think you... Is Lyra Heartstrings not the Ponyville Pony? Sounds like the, uh, the Legend of Zelda song of oh, Forest. <laughs> I, I, I have to assume that in retrospect you're considering yourself more of a friend person, but you really weren't before you came to Ponyville, right? Die! But cutie mark thief! You're one of those uh, ponies with so many friends that one not being in touch with you is not as big of a. You 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 didn't you didn't really realize there was estrangement of any kind. Who were they? <laughs> I am 
gathering the reason you might not have been aggressively close with her. <laughs> yeah, you get around. It is the same Lyra! And we have seen Lyra in a, in Canterlot. Are we are we uh retconning that to be intentionally the same character? Trying to reconnect with my old friends more. It's been too long. You don't even need to lie. You maybe maybe Sweeten it up a little bit. You didn't, literally didn't remember their names. <gasps> oh, my. You had to go get the Princess of Friendship title and become all melodramatic about it, huh? God, the fact that she didn't recognize Lyra is more hilarious to me. <laughs> No, you were too busy reading, huh? Ooh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was about to say, them putting her in the flashback like this makes me think important character, you know? Because instead of just going to visit Moondancer. Like I said before, this would be the episode for a big lore drop, wouldn't it? And I'm starting to wonder if I, I totally called it. 658. In 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> they were so focused on their books. See, they don't keep in, truck er, in touch perfect either. So Moon Dancer took it a little bit harder that she left. Oh my. She 
You're still studying, huh? We were friends. <laughs> well, that could have gone better, I suppose. I mean, she still likes her books. Let, pe m let people mind their own business. You ain't gotta do the Celestia thing of taking somebody under under your wing. Even though you have wings now, it'd be easier than it would have used to have been. Creepy. No. <laughs> Ooh. Could have sworn we were going into song mode for a second there. Wow, I guess not. Hoping you would show up. Invite her to a party. Call Pinkie Pie. <laughs> Probably a really powerful magic user, I'd have to imagine. <laughs> Poorly conceived. <laughs> to be nice? <laughs> I, I get the feeling she doesn't see you as a friend. Maybe at one point, but then you didn't come to a party. This is weird, Twilight. Quit stalking this girl! You wanna know the magical skills? She, all she does is read! Of course she knows Haycart! Oh, come on. You can't love every book. The key to the place? Write me letters. Okay. What are you studying for? Is there no goal?
<laughs> Transactional friendship. <laughs> Just knowing everything. Oh dear, oh dear. You read that book? You really have read everything! Oh dear. Well, shoot, it what kind of been that big of a party? I feel, there's got to be more to this, right? Oh. Wait, me in light. I feel like she might have had a crush on you, to be honest, if that's what was going on. Hardly! <laughs> the party planning pony! Yes! All right, Conquer the Squirrel. Or Tails, Miles Prowler. <laughs> Pinkie Pie's friends with everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> it's really getting rubbed in today, isn't it? <laughs> they are perfect for each other, aren't they? I like your character design a lot. What cruel monster is abandoning books? Are you this gullible? <laughs> Come on, really? <laughs> really? Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, and so much better at that. We are not friends! <laughs> 
Only if I get to beat you with the stick. <laughs> She is just like you is the problem. I wouldn't even call it a problem under most circumstances. Okay, that's good. <laughs> My sister! I hardly knew ye! T to be real! I, I am pretty sure she just had a crush on you. Like, her re reaction to this was way too much. For anything less. I guess not like you were her only friend. Shoot. I'll never be in this show again. <laughs> It'd be so bad. You basically have to show up again. The book? Oh. Oh. Well. I didn't know. No wonder Twilight didn't recognize Lyra. The book was in the way. <laughs> God, I really hope we see a conversation between them at some point. I hope Moon Dancer's not just a throwaway, because if she is a throwaway, that's super sad. It means Twilight did it again. <laughs> Twilight's not bad at friendship, she has, just has a Moon Dancer's blind spot. Extra sad because clearly Moon Dancer felt more than just friendship going on there. <laughs> Next time.